Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do an update of what's on my bookshelves tour. I did one of these videos last year. I will link that in the cards for you guys and it was inspired by a video Haley or Haley and Bookland did around the same time so I will link that down below and it's pretty much a video where I show you guys everything that's on my bookshelves besides the books so that would be like my Funko Pops, the candles, that kind of thing. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys what's on my bookshelves as of this year. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with my TBR shelf case, I guess you could say, my case for my TBR books. This is the one you see behind me in all my videos. Here's kind of just a quick overview of what's on the top shelf. Over here, starting from the left, I have my Emma Swan Pop from Once Upon a Time. I also have this Evil Queen candle I got from Flickering Fandoms. This mason jar I got from the June Owl Crate box. And then I also have my Elsa from Frozen. Funko Pop. And then on top, I don't know how well you guys are going to see it because the lighting's not too great. I have this tiara I got in high school when I was nominated prom princess at my prom senior year. So that kind of just sits on top of all my books. And then this little string right here is just to my lamp. So kind of ignore that. It's going to be kind of in the way. Moving down to this next shelf. Again, I have this annoying string. And then I have my Tom Brady from the New England Patriots Funko Pop. I have this extra charger to my gaming headphones. I also have this old camera I used to use that I got from my mom. And then lastly over here, I have my Snow White from Once Upon a Time Funko Pop. And then this last shelf down here is the last shelf on this case that has decorations on it. So I have this extra iPhone block charger thing. And then I have my Harley Quinn doors from Funko, my TBR jar with some pens as well as my TV remote, this Star Wars alarm clock, and then I have my Regina from Once Upon a Time Funko Pop. And that is everything that's on that case. Alright guys, so now we're going to move over to my red shelf. So this has all the books I have read over the course of my booktube career on this case. And then over here, I just want to start over here because it has some little things on it. This is my Slytherin scarf as well as my Slytherin tie from Harry Potter because I am a very proud Slytherin. And then moving up top, this is my Star Wars shelf. So this has all of my Star Wars books, Funko Pops, and other little decorations. Starting off with the Pops, I have Darth Vader, Jyn Ursa from Rogue One, Rey from The Force Awakens, Chewbacca from The Force Awakens. I have this little Anakin Skywalker um, bubble head that I got many, many years ago. A Princess Leia from The Last Jedi Funko Pop, as well as this little droid who I can never remember the name of. Funko Pop. And then the other little things up here I have are these Star Wars mugs that just hold a few little things. So this one has Darth Vader on it, and then this one has, again, some other little things. It has a couple concert tickets in it, and then it has a mug with Boba Fett, Darth Vader, and some other of the Star Wars villains. Moving down, this next shelf has other little random things. So starting off with the Pops, I have the first original Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time pop. I have this random yarn label thing that I got for one of my yarns. I have a photo album with all the pictures from when I met Big Time Rush. And then the last thing on here, I can't show you guys because it has my college's name on it, but that is just my planner for when I was in my past semester of college. And then over here I have Hook with Excalibur, once again, from Once Upon a Time. And the last thing on this little case is this one, which is Prince Charming from Once Upon a Time. And the last shelf down here has just some Star Wars stickers that my cousin gave me for Christmas last year. So that is everything. Oh, and I forgot these two. <laughs> these are kind of random. It has two Star Wars Jedi fighters from Revenge of the Sith on here. And that is everything on this case. Alright guys, now moving on to kind of where my specialty shelves are. This is going to be the beginning of my Harry Potter shelves. So the first one up here has my original U.S. paperback editions of the books on it. I'll just go ahead and zoom in for you guys to see a little bit better. And on here I have two Funko Pops. I have Draco Malfoy, who fell down apparently. This little glass frog my grandmother gave me for my birthday one year before she passed away, as well as Voldemort. And then I have this Slytherin mug I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. 
in Orlando, Florida a couple of years ago that holds all of my bookmarks. And this last little thing over here is the little box that my uh, tie on my red shelf came in. Moving down, this is where the beginning of my U.S. hardcovers came in. So I have everything from Fantastic Beasts to The Deathly Hallows, which is down on the bottom. And on here I have this Harry Potter umbrella I got for Christmas last year, as well as this Harry vinyl doll that my cousin gave me for my birthday a couple of years ago. And then the last shelf down here, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it, so I'm going to kind of have to tip you sideways. This has just this little snake that looks like Nagini that I made probably about 10 years ago at this little plaster painting shop in my town. So that is everything on this part of the Harry Potter shelves. And on this part of the Harry Potter shelves, this is where all my 20th anniversary editions lay. So I have this little Draco candle from A Court of Candles, and I have a Lego Hogwarts Express that I made at Barnes & Noble like last week at their Lego Harry Potter event, and that is everything that is on the shelf. Alright, now moving on to the last bookcase. Starting off with this top shelf, it is my ARC shelf, so I have a few of my ARCs right here. There is more, but I haven't read them yet. And then this one, this part is kind of a mess, so kind of ignore it, but I have a gigantic Star Wars pen I got in a swap box a couple of years ago. I have a couple of Funko Pop boxes, so I have my Hook with Excalibur and my Lord Voldemort boxes. Then I have this baseball I got, oh good lord, 15 years ago I want to say. This is I Heart the Red Sox on it because that is my hometown baseball team. Then I have another one of those Star Wars mugs that was on my bookcase that has the heroes on it. So it has Yoda and it has Luke Skywalker and Han Solo on it. And over here I just have a couple of things that I have gotten in my Owl Crate boxes. Then moving down to my Sarah J Mass shelf, this is of course where I have all my Sarah J Mass books. The only thing I have on here is this rice sand candle from A Court of Candles. And then lastly, moving down to this one, this is my Stephen King shelf, so as you guys can tell it has all my Stephen King books. And the only thing that's on here is my Darth Vader book, and that is everything that is on my bookcases. Alright everybody, so that is everything that is on my bookcases. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below some of the things you have on your bookcases. I would love to know. And as always, all my social media links are linked down below for you guys if you like following me on any of those. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching today. Bye!